حالا از دکتر صاحب حمید سیما خواهش میکنیم تشریف بیارن یک چند کلمه صحبت کنیم تشکر رحمت جان با سلام به همه اولتر از همه زندگی نامی بسیار مختصر پروفیسر جان بیلی و خانم بریبریکا دبل دیره که از من خواسته شده به زبان دری به خانم خدمت شما تقدیم می کنم پروفیسر جان بیلی پروفیسر اتنو موزیکیولوژی یعنی رشته موسیقی شناسی که ارتباط می گیره به گروه های اتنیکی اقوام و قبائل پروفیسر اتنو موزیکیولوژی و در زمین رئیس بخش موسیقی افغانی دانشگاه گوکسمت لندن هستند ایشان با درجه علمی پی اچ دی دکترا در روانشناسی تجربی وارد عرصه اتنو موزیکیولوژی شدند در سال 1973 به حیث عضو پژوهشی بالاتر از رتبه دکترا وارد دپارتمنت سوشال انتروپولوژی یا انسان شناسی اجتماعی در دانشگاه کوینز بلفاست آیرلند شدند و یک جا با همسرشان خانم ویرونیکا دبل دی مدت دو سال میان سالهای 1973 و 1977 مصروف کار تحقیقاتی ساحوی در عرصه موسیقی افغانی در ولایت هرات بودند در همین مدت بود که پروفسر مهارت‌های رباب نوازی افغانی و نواختن دوتار افغانی را فرا گرفتن و به پای اکمال رساندن بعدتر در دانشگاه کوینز بلفاست و دانشگاه کلمبیای نیویورک و بعدا در دانشگاه گلدسمیت لندن به حیث استاد انجام وظیفه نمودن پروفسر جان بیلی چندین کتاب نشر کردند که آخرین کتابشان به نام سرودهای از کابل موسیقی عرفانی استاد امیر محمد نام داره و نیز مقالات و فصول بیشمار در مورد موسیقی افغانی اینا به دست نشر سپردن ایشان همچنین تهیه کننده فیلم های مستند هستن هفت فیلم مستند ساختن و نشر کردن به شمول یک فیلم مستند که برنده جایزه هنری شده به نام امیر زندگی یک هنرمند مهاجر در پشاور پاکستان در سال 2003 پروفیسر جان بیلی برنامه را به نام انتقال دهندگان سنت فرهنگی در قالب پروگرام ابتکار موسیقی آقاخان در آسیای میانه اساس گذاشتند که امروز به حیث یک آموزشگاه معتبر موسیقی در کابل تکامل یافته و آموزشگاه همانند دیگر مانند امی در هرات در دست تهیه و تدارک می باشه پروفیسر بیلی در حال حاضر با انسیتیوت ملی موسیقی افغانستان که توسط دکتر احمد سرمست پای گذاری گردیده همکاری دارد پروفیسر بیلی اکثرا یک جا با همسرشان خانم ویرونکا و هنرمندان برجسته افغانی هنر نمایی کردند در مورد خانمشان خانم ویرونیکا دبل دی ارز کنم که ایشان با درجه های علمی لیسانس و ماستری یعنی بی ای و ام ای در زبان انگلیسی از دانشگاه برایتن فارغ شدن و مدت چند سال من حیث استاد مهمان در دانشگاه برایتن اجرای وظیفه نمودن در حال حاضر استاد مهمان در دانشگاه گلدسمیت لندن هستند ایشان با پروفسور جان بیلی از سال 1973 به دین سو همکاری مسلکی دارند و کارشناسی و تخصصشان در عرصه ساز و آواز زنان افغانی و پهنه وسیتر رواج موسیقی میان زنان و مسائل موقف اجتماعی زنان می باشد خانم ویرونیکا معلف کتاب ارزشمند سه زن هراتی و چند مقاله و فصل کتاب می باشند مردم افغانستان خانم ویرونیکا را منحیز سرود پرداز آهنگ های فولکلوری که هراتی می شناسند که همیشه خودشان با دایره و همسرشان پروفسور بیلی اونا را با دوتار و رباب در هنر نمایه هایشان همراهی میکنن در سال 2004 پروفسور بیلی و خانم ویرونیکا یک جا با هنرمند مشهور افغانی عبدالوهاب مددی در فستیوال موسیقی سمیلی در انگلستان 
Uh, I hope I haven't uh, mispronounced it. Is that how you pronounce it? Semeli. Semeli, I'm sorry. Semeli. Dar Festivali Musiki Semeli, because you can't, you can't get the pronunciation right in, in Dari. <laughs> yeah. Semeli, Dar Englistan, Ishtra Kardan, Ke Ikansart, Bashakle CD, Baname Sweet Nomad Girl, Yo Shirin Dokhtari Kuchi, Nasher Shada. Professor Billy, wa Khanum Virinika, Zendegi Khoda, Wakfe, Mardomo, Musiki, Afghanistan, Namudan. و در طی 35 سال جنگ و ایرانی گذشته همیشه در کنار هنر و هنرمندای افغانی قرار داشتند. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I know that uh, you're not here to hear speeches. Uh, I won't tax your patience with, uh, with giving a speech, but there is one point that I feel I must make. And that's in relation to the last point that I just read out and uh, Ms. Uh, um, Nilo <laughs> also mentioned. Um, Professor Bailey and uh, um, Ms. Doubleday, they've dedicated their lives to uh, the music of Afghanistan. Uh, unfortunately, as we all know, um, Afghanistan for the past 35 years uh, has been devastated in all aspects political, social, economic, spiritual, and nowhere is this devastation more keenly felt than in the realm of artistic expression. You're all aware of that. I don't need to, to elaborate more on this. The point I'm, I'm trying to make is that um, all of us as Afghans um, who have inherited what remains of our cultural heritage we are so deeply uh, indebted to Professor Bailey and uh, Ms. Doubleday for their life's work. It's, for me, I always feel pain, I could call it, uh, for our inability to express our gratitude to people like Professor Bailey and, and Ms. Doubleday and others who whether Afghan or, or um, uh, non-Afghan, they've dedicated their lives to keeping alive what is every day being taken away, uh, away from us. So unfortunately, we can't express our gratitude to you better, uh, Professor uh, Bailey and, and uh, Ms. Doubleday, uh, but from the bottom of my heart, as an Afghan who appreciates your work, and I can say on behalf of all Afghans, thank you for what you've done for us. Thank you for what you've done for the culture of our country. And I hope that we will all live to see the day that this appreciation and this gratitude will be manifested to you in a worthy way. Thank you very much. Dear friends, well, it's a bit like being on a Tarte de Mode here. <laughs> it's a bit like an Arusi. And um, we're both feeling very humbled by this event and a bit nervous too. Anyway, I have written a short piece which I will read to you. So thank you, Osman, for proposing this unique event. And thank you, Ramat, for providing this wonderful venue. Thanks to Suleiman, who's going to play tabla with us later on. And thanks to all of you for coming tonight to share this celebration of Herati music, plus a few other bits and pieces by way of original compositions for Rabab. It's almost 40 years ago that Veronica and I began our work in Herat. We embrace the history of that great city. We embrace the people and we embrace the music. I wish to thank all those musicians who helped me in one way or another, particularly Gadar Mohammed, then a young man, now Ustad Gadar Mohammed, the master of Dutar playing. I thank Mohammed Karim Heroi, Karim Dutari, uh, who was also my Dutar teacher. And I thank Ustad Rahim Khushnawaz, from whom I learned so much about 
Rabob playing, and his father, Amir John Khushnawaz, who gave me so many compositions. These people were all unfailingly uh, in their generosity. The two and a half years that we lived in Herat were, in some ways, the best times of our lives. Since then, it has just been one tragedy after another. You know better than me, much, much better. But the spirit of Herat stayed with us, not just as golden memories of the past, but something that we engaged with all the time through our writing, making films, and playing the music. In all that time, I don't think there was a single day when I did not think about Afghanistan at some point. And as communications improved, it was possible to keep in touch with people from and in Afghanistan. And in 1994, after 17 years, both Veronica and I were able to visit Herat. Music is important in human life, as ghazai ru, food for the soul, spiritual nourishment, as the Sufis say. Every human society has music, and we have kept your music in our hearts. It has sustained us, and we hope that in some, to some extent, what we have done has sustained you. Those who live in exile face so many problems, and one major problem is maintaining faith in the value of your own culture. We hope and pray that through our long-term commitment to the music of Afghanistan, we have to some extent helped not just to keep music alive through these difficult times, but to encourage people of Afghanistan to value their own special music culture. UNESCO likes to talk about the intangible cultural heritage. This is your cultural heritage. Let us celebrate it, respect it, value it, and on, hand it on to later generations. Thank you. بسیار تشکر بسیار خوش هستیم که با هم با هم رای شما بشینیم و حاضر هستیم که بیت بخونیم و رباب و دوتار و دایره بزنیم به یاد افغانستان به یاد وقت خوش و به امید آینده خوش حاله که خوش هستیم دیگه که با هم بشینیم افغانستان که رفتیم زندگی ما بسیار بیخی تبدیل شده که نمیتونم دیگه چیزی بگم رو آجب از این well anyway so it did change our lives coming to being in, living in Afghanistan and it was something that we would never forget and and never be able to forget because thanks to you all and thanks to so many people in all parts of the world where Afghans are, are living and where they've received us and given us encouragement, you know, that has kept us going with what we do and our way of thinking about Afghanistan, how we can help and what we can do and how we can um, carry on playing the music that we love, that we've learned and learn new things. And we could never do that without having these gatherings where, you know, we have some reason where we, we practice and we think, what shall we play? And we sit together and, and it becomes fresh again for us. And so I'd like to say thank you to the people that I've learned from in Afghanistan. Women who I sat with, I had a neighbor called Modari Zaire. She learned me the first things with my diary and singing. And then I was with uh, Zainab Ahirawi uh, from the Gulpasandar. And she took me to weddings and uh, and I was like her shagird. I used to go in her dusty saws sometimes. And um, also from Rahim Khoshnawaz, I sat with him and he said, oh, I, I'm not a singer, but this is a nice one. And he gave me the dictate, the words, and play the thing with his rhubarb and I sing. 
So I've learned something from him and from many other people. I'd also like to say thank you to Ustad Mash'al, who was an inspiration. I studied miniature painting with him. And Afghanistan opened, opened me to appreciate so many things about Persian poetry and art and Islamic culture. And um, I, I, that's very important to both of us. So it did change our lives. And we're very honored to be honored by you. And this is a very worthy way of saying thank you. You couldn't say thank you in a nicer way than gathering and coming. And we hope we can play something now that we'll, you'll enjoy. <laughs> 